I'm Jordan Sparks, and you're watching New Music Director. Your artists, your music, your link. I always say ordinary person, extraordinary circumstances. The quirky, crazy girl that I was before American Idol was on during the show and now that has always stayed the same. I was actually doing a song for uh, a Disney nature film and Ryan Tedder was a part of that and he walked into the session and was like, I have a song for you. I listened and I just remember like looking at him going, I can have this song, this is the song. I don't think people would have been able to believe me if I would have had the song a couple years ago. Nobody would believe me at 17 singing I Am Woman. Everything that is in the song is what I say all the time. I wish I'd have written it and it's just so crazy because the person who did write it was a guy. Make you if you only knew. Think You Understand If You Only Knew is definitely the line that resonated the most with me. It's a lot of decision making. It's a lot of sacrifice being away from your family and missing really important milestones in their lives as well when you're trying to do something for you know, your career. I have a lot of fans, girl fans, that are my age that are still going through that transition of like, you know, being a young lady but still becoming a woman. And you know, even some of my guy fans are going through that transition as well. Not the woman part, but uh, being a young man and, and transitioning into, you know, gentlemen. With my new album, I wanna be able to write songs and, and sing songs that they relate to. If all the arenas were gone and all of the big tours and all of the going overseas was gone and I could just sing in church or at a coffee shop or whatever, I'd still be happy. And I think that was a good thing to discover, but it's definitely a blessing. I'm not saying it's not at all. I love being able to go and do all that stuff, but if it was taken away or it just couldn't happen anymore, I'd still be happy just being able to sing. If I'm in studio, I'll think about, okay, what would my Nana think of this? So like that line, spend a day in my shoes and see what the hell I go through. I was like, Nana, what do you think? Like, you know, it's my Nana. She's hearing me cuss for her the first time and she's just like, I like it. I'm like, yes. I don't know if somebody wants to spend a day in my shoes. They're pretty big, I wear size 11. There's a couple different messages in, in all of my songs and I feel like if one of the messages can resonate, I think that that's a, a, a beautiful thing. There is a song like Faith, which is just talking about keep your head up, things are gonna be okay even if they don't seem like it now. And you know, there are some people who need to hear that and there are songs like I Am Woman and there are some girls that need to hear that they're strong and beautiful no matter what. And then there's songs like, you know, Battlefield or No Air where it's like I lost you and I don't know what to do and why are we fighting and you know, just, Finding a, a strength or an inner peace from those songs as well, I think it's just, it's amazing to be able to tell story through song and be able to look at somebody in the audience and see that they're actually listening. They're not just looking, they're, they're actually listening and soaking it in. Sometimes I'll be walking down the street and somebody comes up and goes, no air or one step at a time got me through the most, the hardest time in my life and I just want to thank you and I, you know, I, I don't ever really know what to say. It's always just been about being able to tell the story through song. There's been moments where I will be in a room full of people and, or, or full of fans that are just so excited to see me and I'll just want to cry. Like, I'll just be like, I just, I just want my family, I just want my brother, and I will now. Just thinking about my dad and my mom and my brother and kind of just feeling like I kind of wish all this could go away so I could just go home and, and be myself and play with my dogs and lay outside with my best friend and just talk about nothing. I don't get to do it anytime I want to, you know? I, I would love to be able to just go, I'm coming over, I'm coming over today, or Nana, let's, let's play Yahtzee, or let's go do something. I don't want people to look at this and say, oh, poor Jordan, because it's not that. I think for a lot of people, that's how it is. Sometimes anything can be lonely, and anybody can get lonely, and I think, I, I guess that what I want for people to take away from me bawling right now in front of you is just that it happens to us too, but sometimes you just stand there and just be like, I wish I was at home. I go through the same thing. There are lots of artists that that I've listened to that I'm just like, I can remember sitting you know, in my room and, and bawling my eyes out and just listening to that song and being able to get through something because of that music. And the fact that I can do it now is just really, really amazing. I'm actually amazed that almost five years later, people still wanna know what I'm thinking and they wanna you know, hear me sing and they're calling me and going, can you sing on my birthday? And you know, different things like that. So I guess I would just say, 
thank you because I, I, I wouldn't be anywhere without my fans as well as I know what it's like to be a fan and to love watching um, my favorite artists and you know what they say and what they're doing and so I guess I just wanted to say thank you for coming in and you know with the tears and the laughing and everything I mean I'm, I'm right there where you guys are. I'm Jordan Sparks, your new music director, your artist, your music, your link.